Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, we have this um, exponential equation, but there's something very unusual here. The bases, the bases are radicals, and you can see that they are, they are even conjugate. The bases are radicals and they are conjugate. So, how do we solve this kind of uh, uh, problem? It's a very nice uh, one to look at. So, let's get started. So next, uh, first thing is to I put down solution. So I have my 2 plus 3 to the power of x plus 2 minus 3 to the power of x equal to 4. So looking at the two equations, the two terms, you will see that the, the bases are radicals, like I uh, uh, said earlier. But they are conjugates. Okay, so we are going to be dealing a lot with these two bases. So the first thing I need to do is to first of all let you know that note that two plus three and uh, two minus three are conjugates. Conjugates of each other. So what that means is that. The products of the two will give us one. And there is a simple uh, um, ident identity that can help us to do that. So recall that m plus root n multiplied by m minus root n will simply give us m squared minus n, where m is standing in for two and n is three. So that said, means that 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3 will simply give us 2 squared minus 3. And 2 squared is 4 minus 3, that is 1. So what that means is that this means that 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3 is the same thing as 1. And which means that, which means that 2 minus root 3 is the same thing as 1 divided by 2 plus root 3. So we're going to be using this uh, in the original equation. So I'm going to, whatever we see, 2 minus root 3, we simply replace that 1 over 2 plus root 3. So this equation uh, becomes, I'm going to rewrite that equation to become 2 plus root 3 to the power of x plus so this now I'm going to replace by 1 over 2 plus uh, root 3 all to the power of x equal to 4. Okay, so this I'm going to further write right as 2 plus root 3 to the power of x plus 1 over 2 plus root 3 all to the power of x. Of course, we know that whatever, uh, whatever the power of 1 if you have 1, whatever the power is, it's going to be always be 1 equal to 4. So now let p equal to 2 plus root 3 to the power of x. So we're going to use that uh, substitution. So p equals to 2 plus root 3 to the power of x. And so this equation now becomes p plus 1 over p equal to 4. So if I multiply each term by 4, so what that means is p times p plus p times 1 over p is equal to p times 4. So this will give me p squared plus 1 equal to 4, uh, 4p. And if I transform this into, let's transform this into a standard quadratic equation. So that is p squared minus 4p plus 1 equal to 0. So now looking at this, um, we can we, I don't think this can be solved using a factorization. So what we need to do is to solve it by the quadratic uh, formula. So come over to this end and then solve that with the use of the quadratic uh, formula. So I'm going to write down the quadratic formula. Of course, you know uh, that since we are, this is a quadratic formula in P, means that P will be equal to minus B plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a. So where a will be equal to 1, b will be equal to minus 4, and uh, c will be equal to 1. All right. So let's substitute all these values into the quadratic uh, formula. So p will give me minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2 multiplied by 1. So p will give me 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus uh, 4 all over 2. So this p, this gives p to be equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 12 all over 2. So uh, 12 can be written as 4 times 2, uh, 4 times 3 rather, 4 times 3. And the square root of 4 is 2. So I'm going to write this. That means that root 12 will now be written as 2 root 3. Okay, so we have P equal to 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 all over 2. So if we divide that, we have, uh, so that is going to give us 2 plus or minus root 3. So there are two cases for this. It means that P is equal to 2 plus root 3 or P equals to 2 minus root 3. So those are the two cases. Those are the two cases. But don't forget that P is equal to, don't forget, don't forget that, uh, but P is equal to 2 plus 3 to the power of X. And so let's check for case 1. So for case 1, for case 1, we have um, P equal to 2 plus root 3. So if that is the case, it means that 2 plus, this means that 2 plus root 3 to the power of x equals to 2 plus root 3 or to the power of 1. And by the reason of same base, if you have a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y, this is the same thing as saying that x equal to y. So, same base equal, therefore the powers are equal. If we apply that here, it means that x should be equal to 1. So, this is the value for x for case 1. Therefore, case 2. So, for case 2, we have p equal to 2 minus root 3. And don't forget that earlier in our calculation, 2 minus root 3 is the same thing as 1 over 2 plus root 3. Okay? From our previous uh, solution we did, uh, 2 minus root 3 is equal to 1 over 2 plus root 3. So if we take this, so this is also the same thing as saying 2 plus root 3 to the power of minus 1. And therefore, if we go back to this, we are going to have it as 2 plus root 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 plus root 3 to the power of minus 1. So by this law here, it means that x will be equal to minus 1. So this is the second value of x for, uh, for case 2. So for case 2, x equal to minus 1. Y for case 1, x equal to 1. So let's see if these uh, results are actually correct. So let's verify or uh, let's confirm what we've got. So let's uh, verify. Let's verify our results. So for x equal to 1, we have that 2 plus 3 to the power of x plus 2 minus 3 of x equal to 4 and x equal to 1 so that means 2 plus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 equal to 4 so you can see that these two will cancel out and 2 plus 2 is 4 that is 4 this is correct that's for case 1 then for case 2 where x equals to minus 1 let's see what we have we have 2 plus root 3 all to the power of minus 1 plus 
2 minus root 3 all to the power of minus 1 equal to 4. Let's see uh, how this uh, works out. So this is the same thing as 1 over 2 plus root 3 plus 1 over 2 minus root 3 equal to 4. So can we find the same of this? The same of this will be let me come over to this line here. So the SCM of that, so let me move over to this. We have 1 over 2 plus root 3 plus 1 over 2 minus root 3 equal to 4. So let's see uh, the LCM. The LCM will be 2 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3. So as the numerator here, this is equal to 4. So as the numerator, we are going to have 2 minus root 3 plus 2 plus uh, root 3. So this and this will cancel out. So we have 2 plus 2 all over. Once we multiply this out, it's going to be 2 squared minus 3. This is equal to 4. This plus this, 2 plus 2 is 4. All over 4 minus 3. This is equal to 4. 4 over 1 equal to 4. So that means that 4 equal to 4. This is also Correct. So, guys, there you have it. Please, on your screen is um, my playlist. Click on it to watch, and I will see you in my next um, video. Thank you.